The chapter for Ireland, it's pretty peaceful, but that won't last long. We're going from the craziest live event theories all the way to the most likely live event that's gonna happen. But first, we've gotta start with the return of the Devourer. Now, I did say we're gonna start off with the craziest live event theories, and this one has got everyone talking. If you remember, throughout the whole of chapter three, we had the Devourer skull just chilling on the Fortnite Island. I think everyone assumed because the mech robot arm was out at sea and it foreshadowed the live event that then happened, that the Devourer Devourer Skull was going to do the same thing, but it never came. We're now in chapter four and everybody's been saying that the Citadel looks like the castle at the top of Polar Peak. And I mean, they're not wrong, but what lied underneath the Polar Peak castle? The monster. Everybody now believes that the egg of the Devourer is underneath the Citadel, seen as it's supposedly the castle from Polar Peak, but years before. As we know, the Citadel was rifted in from a medieval reality during the Fusion Live event, a reality where Geno seemingly is a lot younger, which could explain why everybody thinks that the Devourer Egg is underneath the Citadel. Do you think we could see the monster return during this chapter? I mean, it's a bit of a stretch, and that is why it's our craziest live event theory. But this next one seems more likely that it's gonna happen. And that is that the Herald is still alive. Yeah, we saw it got destroyed at the end of chapter three by the crone, but this theory does have some legs. Right now, there is a tree right in the center of the Fortnite Island in between all the merging of different realities. But if you head to the back of this tree, it looks like someone has escaped. Now, believe it or not, in the files of the game right now, there are whispering sound effects linked with the Herald. And if you actually approach this tree very quietly, you can hear these whispering sound effects. I mean, ah, uh, that's nothing, right? Well, you're wrong. On top of that, on a recent Fortnite skin survey, you can see a skin here that looks awfully familiar to the Herald. But like in a different different form. I mean, look, from the eyes, the head, the nose shape, the mouth, everything, it just looks like the Herald. Other than the fact that this new character is covered in stone and amber, they're pretty much the same. If you didn't know, amber is actually formed from the sap of trees over thousands of years. So could this new Herald actually be from within this tree? I mean, even the mosquito fossilized inside this amber is just a reference that maybe she's been hiding in this tree for thousands of years. Is. But this next theory I'm going to tell you could actually happen as a live event, and that is the saving of the Seven. After the Fortnite Fracture live event took place, I think everybody was pretty confused on what happened to the storyline of the Seven and where they just went. They just disappeared. One minute we were saving the whole island with the Seven, and then the next day they're all just gone. Did the Seven die? For a fact, we know that Jones is still alive because he's just chilling in this loading screen during the downtime of the live event, so Jones is all right. We know the Foundation, the Origin, the Scientists, the Visitor and the Order were all taken by the Crone. Paradigm is still alive as she helped us reforge the island, so where have they all gone? Many believe they got taken and kidnapped by the last reality and for right now, they're inside the Cube Cradle. People think this because the Herald obviously has direct ties with the last reality, she was the messenger for them and her plan was to pretty much kidnap the Seven, but obviously her plan got foiled because Paradigm managed to escape. This time, instead of flipping the island, Paradigm just fused a load of different realities together to protect the zero point. The whereabouts of the seven people believe to be inside this cube cradle. Could the future of Fortnite involve us saving the seven from the last reality within the cube cradle? I mean, it's a huge possibility. Surely they're not just going to kill off the seven like that, right? I mean, that theory was pretty cool, right? But this next one has even more hints that it could be our next live event in Fortnite. Fortnite. And I mean, this last one that I'm going to show you might just blow your mind, but next up is the releasing of the Zero Point. Every live event in Fortnite literally comes around because someone wants to steal the power of the Zero Point. We've had Galactus, we've had the Last Reality, we've had the Imagine Order. They all want the power of the Zero Point. And believe it or not, wow, this next live event is more than likely going to be focused around stealing the Zero Point again. Right now, in the center of the island is this vault. I mean, cool, right? But inside is the Zero Point, which it actually placed itself during this Fusion live event. You can see it ends up in the middle yeah, it's now inside this vault. I mean, take a look at this. During the last live event, Epic actually had plans that the Zero Point was going to be stolen by the last reality in the mothership 
to then destroy it and then fly away and escape. This obviously got scrapped, it didn't happen, so it's been pushed back potentially, and so it could be happening in a future live event. For right now, I mean this vault is completely sealed up, which means we could eventually see it open up in the future and exposing the zero point as other people come and try and steal it, I guess. A live event theory that I don't think any of us are prepared for is the invasion of snow. Now, every year in Fortnite, around the Christmas time, we normally get snow cover the island, but this year it didn't happen, and I don't know why. But there is a secret hidden on the island right now that gives away a possible live event in Fortnite. If you approach Snowheart as the ageless, she says this, your kingdom will look so much better under mountains of ice. It seems like she has a plan to take over the Fortnite island and to cover everything in snow at some point. Could this be foreshadowing a future live event? But this theory is backed up even more when you then go and approach Frozen the night. She then bows down to the ageless, suggesting that she's on our side and that she doesn't want Snowheart to take over the island. It looks like this could be a future battle for a live event brewing up here, but it doesn't come with as much evidence as this last live event theory that has so much evidence that it pretty much could happen, and that is the return of Midas. Yeah, I know, I get it. We've spoken about Midas an absolute ton, but after this chapter, it's pretty much confirmed at some point that he's gonna be coming back. Listen to this. We've had teasers for Midas for absolutely years now. Donald Mustard just doesn't stop talking about him. And he also confirmed that Midas never actually died by that shark attack, right? Last season, we got this spray and nothing ever came of it. It's pretty much Midas's hand covered and dripped in chrome. Nothing ever came of this, but that's up until now. Midas has this alternative alternative style called Midas Rex. And when you put this skin side by side with the Ageless, you can see an absolute ton of similarities. They're both wearing this like futuristic armor. They've both got tabards from their waist. They've got cloaks on their back and they both have pretty similar swords. And most importantly, both are dripped down in gold. Does this confirm that Midas Rex is from this time period when Geno was younger? Chapter two, season two, we actually had the introduction of Midas Midas, where we saw two teams, the Ghost Agency and Shadow, they both had leaders that both went to battle. And this next upcoming season is Chapter 4, Season 2. Right now on the Fortnite Island, we have the start of the Imagined Order, as we have young Geno just chilling here. And we could see the arrival of Midas, who will take on this fight against this Imagined Order. And then to further back up this theory, if you then approach Scrap Knight Jules as Midas, she says this, she doesn't want to be included of any of his future plans, but she is literally his daughter and helped him out in the past build the Doomsday device, but she now wants nothing to do with him. But what's going to completely blow your mind is if you now approach Scrap Knight Jules as the Ageless. She says she looks forward to working with him in the future, pretty much. Surely this is enough evidence to confirm Midas is officially coming back now right? And there we go, that is every Fortnite live event theory come up by the community right now, some with very little evidence that are complete myths, to live event theories that have so much evidence that they could actually happen. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe, drop a like, I'll catch you guys later.